my dear students welcome back to this mini hs school i believe you are all happy and safe at home once again welcome you back to this english class so today we are going to complete the play gopal and the hilsa fish yes okay let's see a small recap about what we have learned through previous classes so we saw about who is gopal and what is hilsa fish and what's our national fish and scene one scene one is like conversation between gopal and raja krishna chandra that shows that raja krishna chandra is very much irritated by the talk of hilsa and any other fishes and he gave one thing to do for gopal and he said for that i'll reward you and seen to half we completed yes so that shows that morning in the court king came but gopal is not there so king was little bit annoyed by gopal's behavior but they he can witness a mysterious woman and courtiers are talking about that peculiar woman and that's what we saw and also raja krishna chandra questioned with that woman about her arrival and where she is from but she didn't respond to his questions only sound she can make us jingles of her bangles that's all okay this is what we saw from previous classes so today let's continue with our scene shall we start yes so now see krishna chandra please take page number 21 in your literature reader here krishna chandra exasperated exasperated means very angry or annoyed okay i don't know what to do as the king i'm bound to help any subject who comes to me but how one else do i do it if she doesn't speak see he is very angry and annoyed with the behavior of that woman so he is shouting by viewing everyone at the court so he is saying that but how one else do i do it if she doesn't speak so he is saying that i am here to help people but she is not speaking so how can i help her next narrator now narrator is explaining us the scene okay narrator the courtiers failed at all tactics to make the woman talk no one succeeded the only sound she made sounded like suppressed giggles she stamped her foot and shook her wrist so here now narrator is explaining that every court has tried all tactics tactics in the sense so tactic have many other meanings too but here it is like to trick to get someone to do something to trick to get someone to do something so that's the meaning of tactics here so everyone tried that tricks to do her something or to made her talk but everyone has failed because she didn't did anything any actions so only she do like a uh, suppressed giggle giggle in the sense laughing kind of laughing what she did inside her veil she just laughed a little bit and after shaking her wrist and stamping her foot likewise okay now courtier one are you crazy narrator the woman shook her head now here narrator is going to explain what the woman is actually doing what action she is doing now courtier one is asking are you crazy she is doing shaking her head shook in the sense this and then courtier two are you unable to hear us she see the woman shook her head again courtier three do you think this is a joke she see narrator and so it went on the whole morning the raja became exhausted exhausted and is very much annoyed irritated he became so tensed then krishna chandra very much exhausted see 
Enough is enough. I am tired of you. Come back tomorrow, but make sure you bring someone with you who can talk. He can explain your case to me. I'll look into it then. He is saying that. As a king, he is answering now. He is saying that. Enough is enough. Go back and come back again tomorrow morning. But make sure you bring someone with you to explain your case. This is what he is saying. Okay. Then now narrator. Raja Krishna Chandra got up from his throne. Everyone got up with him. They began leaving the court one by one. But the woman stood where she was. See, Raja Krishna Chandra got up from her throne. See, this is a respect to king. When the king got up from the throne, all the courtiers must stood up, should not sit in front of him. So this is what happening. Everyone is leaving one by one. But Raja is also about to leave but the woman is standing still at the place now krishna chandra there is no point waiting anymore can't you see that my workforce this session is over i have wasted the entire morning trying to make you talk he is saying that see the session is over now so leave here you wasted my time this is what raja krishna chandra is saying here Woman in a deep voice. Deep voice in the sense, coarse voice, me kind of male's voice. So in a deep voice. But my morning hasn't been wasted, sire. In deep voice. Now she starts to speak. Then narrator, the king gave her a keen look. The voice sounded familiar. See, the woman is talking now, but the, the king is getting something in his mind that he is thinking that this voice somewhere, I hear this voice before. He is thinking now. Next page, page number 22. Now, Krishna Chandra is speaking now. See his dialogue, Krishna Chandra. Good heavens, it's Gopal. What is all this tomfoolery mean? You have wasted my whole morning. He is saying that he found now that this woman is actually Gopal. Gopal disguised himself as a woman. He is now like, why you did that to me? Tomfoolery means playful or silly behavior. He is saying, why you acted these silly things? You wasted my time. And now, Gopal, throwing off the veil. Throwing off the veil means, no, he throwed off his veil. See, Gopal, throwing off the veil. How I, Sayo, he is asking, huh, did I? He is asking like he don't know anything what happened likewise. Now, Krishna Chandra, yes, I had so many important businesses to attend to and none of it got done because of your silly joke. He is saying that I got many things to do today, but you wasted my time. Gopal, but sire, no one mentioned Hilsa this morning. Isn't it that what you wanted? Now he cunningly saying that, see, no one talked about Hilsa. That's what you wanted the most. Then Krishna Chandra, I did, but he's like, yes, I said, but this is like a little shocked. Gopal, I only did what you asked me to, your majesty. I merely distracted everyone so that they don't remember a thing about Hilsa or any other fish. See, he is saying that. See, I did my job correctly. See, what you said before is like, please stop the talk of Hilsa at least a morning. So, I did that. This is what he is explaining. Now, Krishna Chandra laughing because he is keeping his word. Who? Gopal is keeping his word. So, he is like, you made such a spectacle of yours of all those bangles and anglers of Zari. He is laughing. He is saying like, you made yours a joker now. But that bangles and anglers, Zari, it's so funny. Likewise, he is saying, Gopal, I succeeded in what I set out to do. But Gopal is not hearing anything. He doesn't bother about his appearance. He only bothered about the reward. So he is saying that I did what I wanted to. 
Next, narrator. Now, narrator is talking. Raja Krishnachandra laughed, recalling Gopal's antics that morning. Now, antics in the sense, actions that can be funny, but at the same time, it can annoy people. That is what I mean by antics. See, Raja Krishnachandra started laughing. He forgot about his exasperation, exasperation and uh, what? Annoyment, irritation, everything. He started laughing now. Then, Raja Krishnachandra said, you succeeded. I will have to think about your reward. He says that, yeah, you succeeded. So, I'll think about your reward. He gave an assurance. Gopal, please don't give me his awake. Now, Gopal, again, he using his humor sense. Please don't give me his awake. Narrator, everyone in the coach burst out laughing. So, this is all because of that Hilsa fish, Hilsa talk. So, Gopal is saying that, please don't give Hilsa again to me as a reward. He said that and everyone in the coach as well as king started laughing. So, this is the happy ending. Yeah. So, we are done with her play. So, what's all about this? Hilsa fish, Gopal's witch. And reward and his antics, these are all about this play. So, I believe you understood this play as well as you can read this play with that same feeling and emotion that this playwright wanted to read. Yes, so okay, children, here we come to the end of the video. Please read by the way what I taught you. Okay, if you got any doubts, please ask me in. So, okay, children, take care. Thank you. Bye bye.